This is a fascinating documentary that was about something that happened, which was this Hulk Hogan Gawker trial. Yeah. Which basically bankrupted uh, Gawker. Uh -huh. But then the issues in it have sort of become a little bit more important now, maybe even than they were then. But tell us a little bit about what got you started on this story. Yeah, I mean, I was really, really interested in this case, this uh, this sort of trial between Hulk Hogan and Gawker Media. Um, I just thought it was interesting by itself. Um, you know, this was the first time a sex tape case like this had ever gone to trial. So they and had they basically put the sex tape online. Yes. Yeah, so so um, uh, Hulk Hogan was filmed having sex uh, with the, the wife. The key to a sex tape. <laughs> key to a sex tape. <laughs> yeah. With the wife of his uh, then best friend, uh, mm -hmm. Bubba the Love Sponge. Right. Uh, who is a shock jock radio DJ yeah. in, uh, yeah. in Florida. So this tape uh, gets out there. Uh, a lot of people speculate about it. There's some uh, stills posted, I think, on uh, maybe on TMZ and some other side, The Dirty or something. And, uh, and then eventually Gawker posts uh, an edited down version of this tape uh, along with the post. And that starts this, uh, this really lengthy kind of trial, this battle between them. And uh, during the trial, uh, Hulk Hogan made a distinction uh, between the character of Hulk Hogan yeah. and uh, his, his actual, uh, the actual guy, Terry Balea. Yeah. And because part of what Gawker argued was that they published this sex tape yeah. because it refuted things that Hulk Hogan had said about his own sexual prowess. Is that correct? Yes. And this was a, this was a defense that the Hogan team brought. It was new to this trial. They hadn't, they hadn't even mentioned this in the, in the previous incarnations of this, where they made a distinction between Hulk Hogan and the private person, uh, Terry Bollea. And uh, it was fascinating. I mean, basically their argument, they said, look, you've talked about this sex, this sex incident um, many times on Howard Stern's show, in fact, in very graphic details. Um, so why, why is this so private? Why, well, you know, you've, made, you've actually brought this into the public. You've made it newsworthy yourself. And he said, well, that's different. I, that was me as Hulk Hogan uh, bragging about my sex life. Uh, and that's different than me as Terry Bollea. And, they, and he actually asked about his, I don't know if you'd say this, 10-inch penis. Yeah. <laughs> and, Once uh, you say 10-inch, they're going to finish it. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, so that actually becomes a thing. And, and Hulk Hogan on the trial, or Ter Mr. Balea, says, actually, I don't have a 10-inch penis. Uh, wow. uh, Hulk Hogan does, but uh, me, <laughs> uh, not so much, I guess. This is a crazy, this sounds yeah. like just the craziest trial. And yeah. then uh, Hulk Hogan wins this uh, $50 million settlement. Is it, was it 50? It's 140 million. 140 million, my goodness. Yeah, well, I mean, that was the initial verdict. So. And so that bankrupts Gawker. Now, one of the things that's interesting is, you know, there are a lot of people that would say uh, Gawker uh, made some editorial choices that yeah. were sort of uh, beyond what is considered journalism with dignity. But ultimately, the question is, do you also have to protect the free speech or the, the rights to the free press when they're doing things that you don't agree with? Is that the fear of press going forward? Is that, you know, Gawker basically was put out of business by this one decision? and that other people will use this same technique to take down any website or any news source that they don't like? Yeah, I mean, you're completely right. It's, it's, a, it's a complex story. And I think that's one of the reasons why I personally found it so compelling. It's, it's not an easy story. I think I kind of found it interesting because it's, it's, it's difficult in some ways. And it is on the edges of acceptability with speech. Um, it's a little like uh, it's a little like the people versus Larry Flint kind of territory, but that dramatic verdict that actually silences Gawker, and then the revelation that Silicon Valley um, uh, investor Peter Thiel was actually bankrolling Hulk Hogan's case the entire time in secret, that made it a very kind of different story. It became a story about how big money can silence uh, critical voices.